Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do something awesome. Today we are going to paint together. I'm gonna do a full lesson and I will explain you everything step by step. Real easy and simple for everybody. I try to make it very easy on you guys. The technique we're gonna use is a wet on wet. We're gonna paint a forest with a big tree. Beautiful painting, very simple. Everyone can do it. So grab a brush and paint. I'm gonna explain you what you need and we'll do it together. So let's get started. Hi guys, let's start this painting. This is gonna be the first part. Uh, we're gonna have the second part. I uh, will post uh, in the next two weeks. So let's go to the painting. What I'm doing now, I'm using gambling gel. And uh, what we're gonna do is like a wet on wet technique. So we're gonna put some medium first. So the paint gonna go fluid and uh, run better on the canvas. There are different techniques and uh, I use uh, dry on wet usually, but this is a simple way to have a nice paint or the color la prima all at once. Okay, so you can use uh, this gel or you can use a lensy oil, any kind of medium you want really. And uh, you see what I'm doing? I kind of scrub all canvas you just gotta get a little tiny layer of that and the color that I use are titanium white ultramarine blue burnt amber fellow green cadmium yellow light yellow ochre and that's liquid it's my medium you can use a any medium you say is just to get the paint flow better. So now we're gonna start and I'm gonna mix fellow green with a little bit of cadmium yellow. Try to make a kind of dark green and what we're gonna do we're gonna do this common stroke that's how they call it. There are, you see, I don't go in the same place. I kind of go here and there, and I start with the dark painting. And I will put on top lighter and lighter. Now, when you do this, try to imagine where you want your trees. That's a dark forest, and that's what I do. You see, I kind of tap. my green, don't put it in the same place because we're gonna add a different shade of this green. Now what I'm doing I add a little bit more yellow. So I make it a little bit lighter and do the same thing. I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I was using a, a filbert and now I'm using a round brush, number three. So I can make a, the leaf smaller you don't have to follow where i put all the leaf really you just imagine where you want like the lights is coming from the right so i have in mind there and try to imagine where i want all my trees now you cannot see much now because like i say i started with very dark paint and at the end where we're gonna put our highlights you will see the result. 
see it's kind of tapping and wiggle your your brush you can practice doing this in a in a blank canvas with these corner shots they are very is they're very nice you can make a very nice tree you don't have to do so fast you can really do even leaf up after leaf now you see that kind of stop and half of the canvas because after you're gonna put some trunks tree trunks Try to put too many of this or it's gonna be too busy. Just try to imagine like this dark forest. The most is dark and you see like some lights. Now I'm moving my camera so you guys can, can see better. Am I adding a little bit more? leaf you see i never touch the same one and i go between i leave a lot of a lot of dark spot that's what gonna make your tree look like a tree you're gonna do a lot of tree like many many trees very easy And if you think that you make too many, you see now that I'm, I'm with a light color, sometimes you can go, you can do too much, too many, many. If you don't like it, just get like a dark, even black, and paint on top and fix it. You can always fix. Now what I'm doing, I add a lot of yellow. So we start getting some highlight. And now I'm gonna be very careful to put on the right side whatever I think that the light is, is shine. Shine them. Put a little bit more yellow. Because maybe these are the final highlights. You see, I'm seeing like one tree is over there. another tree and that's the right part of the tree you see I leave all the dark on the right like you see I kind of make them like a little section of leaf leaves and when I do the little section they kind of touch each other they are near. And like I say, try to imagine or look a picture. I'm doing it without them even. I did a painting. I'm working on a painting. The, you have this dark forest. And I kind of, I learned this technique that is very easy. And I want to show you guys. Take your time. And like I say, if you don't like you put too many of these highlights, just go with some dark or black and and you can paint on top. Just see what I'm doing. You see, when I have a lot of dark and I put the highlights all in the right side that I think there is a tree. Now what I'm gonna do, this is my last highlights. I just get like a, almost pure yellow. And uh, you see, I'm going like on top of the one that I have on the right side. That's where really the sun is shining.
and you can take your time and just work it's very fun plus you can practice this common stroke Yeah, it's very fun, you know, and relaxing. Plus, once you get you get very familiar with, you can do all the tree you want, and they will look beautiful anytime. Now, I don't know if I forget to say that they are using oil painting, and uh, you guys can use any any kind of oil paint. I use gambling artists. They, I like them, but they are a different brand. They are cheaper brand. Uh, you can try with any any brand you like, really. If you just start the painting, you can really buy anything. Okay, now we're gonna start to do the trunks. And it's gonna be very easy. Now I use my filbert and I want to try something. I want to see if I, I make like a very dark color mixing brown and blue. I want to see if I maybe want to put that first or try something else. Because like I said, I did another painting, but I kind of forget. So let, let's find out together what's the best way to do it. So I kind of put the color over there to, to let me know where the trunk is. I'm using this flat brush. I think, I think it's a three quarter inch flat brush. So I kind of, I mix uh, yellow ochre and some white and uh, make uh, my brush like a chisel and you see what i do i go from the outside where i think that the tree is and flick my brush and kind of you see kind of i curve when i blend it now i'm mixing more paint And I'll do the same thing. I think now I'm gonna try to mix some brown and white, see how they look. Then go straight to the highlights because I think it was too light. I can tell you that it looks pretty good. So I mix some burnt amber and a little bit of white. And you see, wherever I see tree, I just flick my brush Look how easy. You can make all the trees. Try to make the tree straight because there are not many straight uh, trees. Kind of angle it any direction. Go crazy with it. Now you see? Some of them I put more paint, some I kind of blend a little bit more, so they seem like behind. You can make a bigger, bigger tree, just some you see like here in the corner that you can see just a little bit. Look at that effort, like it's so easy. This technique is so easy. Now I'm not using any, any kind of medium on my paint, straight paint. So this is the first coat. So when I'm gonna do highlights, I'm probably gonna mix with a, a little bit of liquid. I never mix more than 25%. So I gotta be 25% medium and the rest paint. That's what I do. 
Now I start with the highlight. So I mix a yellow ochre with some white and give some highlights. You see, I kind of go on the right and flick my brush. This the highlights. You see, it's very simple. Load your brush anytime you, you need. You see, I kind of cut the tree, like seems that you have like a hole in the middle. You can play with and you can even make a branch, little branch. Maybe we make a couple. Now I mix a little bit more yellow ochre, same mixture, and do the rest of them. See, I start from the right side, I kind of flick the brush. Look how I cut here, and it seems like you know that looks very good. after a blend you see a blend that's try to don't touch the right side my blend the rest of the paint and kind of curve a little bit so give it a three-dimensionality they're pretty nice and we will continue do to all of them You know, if I do one, two, three, you don't have to load the brush with a lot of paint because it's nice if you don't have paint, you see like this one, don't have a lot of paint, it seems like it is behind the other three. Plus you can blend it if you want to give the effect. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is the first part. going to be part one and part two. On part two, we're gonna make uh, the grass. We're gonna do some grass maybe, and maybe a big tree, a very big tree. It's gonna be very fun. And I don't know, we'll see what we're gonna. It's gonna be a very simple paint for everybody, for people that just start painting and they wanna be familiar with uh, oil paint. I love oil paint, you can really, play with it's not like uh, acrylic I try acrylic it's nice but it dry very fast oil paint dries so slow you have so much time to work and I use liquid liquid make it dry very fast not very not fast like acrylic but you have like the next day gonna be dry so you have uh, enough time to play with your painting and uh, the next day using liquid will be complete completely dry now you see I just get like some branch just flick the brush you see easy very easy after you do this if you want to you can add the more leaves or I think I'm gonna leave it like this I think it's pretty pretty cool there's something Yeah, we'll fix this one in the middle. Put some dark. You see what I did? I didn't like it, so I just grabbed some some dark paint, blue and brown mixed together, and fix it. And I will see you next time for part two. All right, guys. Well, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. video. I'm sure I'm that you guys did great. And please leave a comment if you wanna ask me something, and if you want more video like this, I really enjoy to do it with you guys. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and I will see you very soon. See ya.